a dramatic shift, analyzing the 2024 electoral landscape and Trump's ascendancy. The 2024 electoral landscape is undergoing a seismic shift, with Donald Trump's popularity rising sharply as the election date approaches. With critical swing states becoming battlegrounds, the dynamics of voter sentiment suggest a challenging environment for Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party. Recent polling indicates that Trump is not only gaining traction, but also leading in several pivotal states that could determine the election's outcome. To begin with, Trump's initial electoral vote count stands at 126, while Harris trails with 97. These numbers reflect a clear advantage for Trump, particularly as the electoral map begins to take shape based on the latest polling data. An important consideration in this context is the performance of both candidates in traditionally Democratic strongholds. For instance, while Harris holds a significant lead in Washington state, where she is ahead by 13.7%, it is crucial to recognize that four years ago, Biden won by nearly double that margin. This erosion of support in blue states underscores the challenges Harris faces as she attempts to consolidate her base. Turning to the competitive battlegrounds, Pennsylvania emerges as a focal point in the discussion. Recent trends show Trump leading by a narrow margin, a critical shift that could have far-reaching implications. Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes, has historically been a battleground state and could be the linchpin in determining which candidate secures the presidency. The fact that Trump is gaining ground here, especially when juxtaposed with Biden's previous lead of seven points in 2020, highlights the volatility of the current political climate. Furthermore, states like Wisconsin and Michigan are proving to be significant indicators of Trump's rising influence. In Wisconsin, Harris's lead has dwindled to just 0.5%, a precarious position that reflects a broader trend of diminishing Democratic support in the Midwest. Polls reveal that Trump has led in three of the last four state polls, indicating a potential shift toward red in a state that Biden managed to win narrowly in 2020. Michigan, long viewed as a Democratic stronghold, is similarly trending toward Trump. Recent polls suggest that he has achieved a narrow lead, which is particularly striking given the historical context. In 2016, Hillary Clinton was ahead by a significant margin, and in 2020, Biden maintained a comfortable lead. Trump's current standing in Michigan, just 0.5% ahead, marks a potential turning point, suggesting that the state's electorate may be ready for a shift back to Republican leadership. On the topic of state-specific dynamics, Arizona stands out as another key battleground. Trump currently holds a 1.4% lead here, a notable change from the predictions leading up to the 2020 election when Biden was projected to win. This reflects a significant rightward shift among voters in Arizona, which could have repercussions for other surrounding states as well. The increasing support for Trump in Arizona highlights a trend of declining Democratic margins, signaling that Harris's campaign may not be resonating as strongly as necessary to maintain previous victories in the region. Texas, traditionally a Republican bastion, is showing signs of Trump outperforming expectations. With a commanding lead of 5.4%, Trump's position in Texas is strengthened compared to past election cycles when polling suggested tighter races. The state's political landscape indicates that Trump may secure a more substantial victory than previously anticipated, further solidifying his support among Texas voters. In the Northeast, states such as New York and New Hampshire present contrasting challenges for Harris. While she holds a significant lead in New York with a 13.5% advantage, it's important to note that Biden won the state by a margin of 23 points in 2020. This reduction in margin indicates a potential decline in Democratic dominance in a state that has historically lean blue. New Hampshire, meanwhile, shows a narrower margin of 7.4% suggesting that while Harris may win, it will not be by the robust margins her predecessor enjoyed. The implications of these trends extend beyond individual state performances. The overall electoral map is beginning to reflect a potential shift toward Trump, with predictions suggesting he could accumulate as many as 296 electoral votes compared to Harris's 242. This dramatic turn of events indicates that if Trump manages to secure wins in crucial states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, he stands a strong chance of reclaiming the presidency. Moreover, the landscape of the electoral map reveals that several traditionally blue states are becoming competitive. This trend suggests a need for Harris and the Democratic Party to reevaluate their strategies and voter engagement efforts. The shifting sentiments indicate that voters in swing states may be more inclined to favor Trump, highlighting a potential disconnect between Democratic messaging and voter priorities. In summary, the 2024 electoral landscape is marked by a notable shift in support toward Donald Trump, with several key battleground states showing signs of vulnerability for Kamala Harris. As the election date approaches, the implications of these trends will be critical for both candidates. Harris must find ways to galvanize her base and address the concerns of undecided voters, while Trump is positioned to capitalize on his rising popularity and strengthen his hold on swing states. The outcome of the election will ultimately hinge on voter turnout and the ability of each candidate to connect with the electorate in an increasingly competitive environment.